Hello everyone, today I want to talk about how you can create vector diagrams in Microsoft PowerPoint. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to recreate this diagram which I have a screenshot from the manuscript. So it is in a bitmap format and as you can see if you zoom in here everything will be pixelated. So what we want to do, we want to create a vector format of this using the shapes in Microsoft PowerPoint and then export that as a vector format which is going to be SVG or Scalable Vector Graphics. So what we're going to do is we're going to start going to the Insert menu and we're going to Shapes. So first and foremost we will try to start with the bigger shapes on the screen. So we start with a rectangle and then try to replicate all the shapes that we have in this. But before we continue, first of all, we would like to change the properties of the shape that we just inserted. So we don't want it to have any filling, so we create no fill. And for the outline, we want it to have black outline and maybe a little bit thicker outlines. So once we do that, you can hold control key and then drag the shape to just duplicate that shape and then resize it to adjust it to other shapes that you have on the screen. So we have created N1, now we create N2. Now let's go to the circles. So we go back to insert, we go shape, now this time we choose oval and try to draw on one. If the size doesn't match what we have, don't worry about it. You can always change the sizing. And this time we're going to click on our rectangle, then go home and click Format Painter, and then click on the circle that we just created. So this one will help us have consistency with the styling of the different shapes that we are working with. Again, we are going to click on the circle, hold control, drag to duplicate, so we add the second wheel. Now that we are done with the rectangles and squares, we have a lot of lines. So we're going to start adding lines from insert, shape, line. So we're going to add one line here, and we're going to select our rectangle, home, format, and then click on the line to have them all in the same style. Now after this, we're going to try to recreate everything else that has lines. So we're going to copy multiple of the lines that we have. and try to recreate everything that we have in this picture. Now some of these shapes, as you see, mm -hmm. have arrows. So with these shapes and arrows, what we want to do, we want to add the arrowhead. So we right click on the line, go to format shape, and then the end arrow, we change it to this format. That picture is the other side, so control Z, we go to the begin arrow, that side. But we also see that it's not very visible, so we need to make the arrow with a little bit bigger. Now that we have that arrow, we can actually copy that arrow for wherever we have an arrow. And then we will continue with the other lines in the graphics.
And now that we had everything, it's time to add some text. So we're going to insert text box. And after we have the text, now we need to add some equations. So we go to insert, we go to equation. So the nice thing about this is that you can actually add equations to this, whereas in Visio that doesn't exist. So here we can easily add equations like Microsoft Word equations. So now that we have all the text, what we can do, we can try to remove the backdrop image and this is what we're left with. So this is our actual graphics. If you need to move things and you don't want them to snap to grids, you can just hold Alt key and move them around. And if you find that some of the text are, are smaller size, you can just increase the text size or equation size to match the overall graphic that you want. So now that we have everything, we can actually go ahead and save this. And once we save that, we can also save it as a vector format. So we save a copy. In the options, we can choose scalable vector graphics, so the SVG format, which is going to be a graphic format. Now save. Because we only have one slide, we save just this one. And now that it's done, we can go ahead Open a Word document. And go and insert that picture that we just created. So now you see that we have that diagram in vector format. How can we make sure that it is in that format? If we zoom in now, you see that the quality does not degrade as we are zooming in to the figure. So here we go. We have a vector format created in Microsoft PowerPoint, which is of high quality, does not degrade with zoom in and zoom out, and over time it's not going to degrade depending on the resolution of the file that we're working with.